So one of the things that I found really, really worked is modeling after excellence. And what do I mean by that? When I first started my agency, one of the best ways I trained my folks was through osmosis. I was the guy that was the maniac on the phones that was pulling people out of the line at the DMV, putting in 14 hour days, had somebody on the left of me, had somebody on the right. Because I set the bar so high, you know, I call it the Roger Bannister effect. Anybody that doesn't know Roger, Sir, Roger Bannister, he's the one that broke the four minute mile. Everybody thought it was impossible until the impossible was possible and he did it. But guess what happened immediately after that when it hadn't been done in decades? Everybody started breaking four minute miles and it's the same psychological effect because people will do as you do before they do as you say. Seeing is believing. You could hear something, but if you see it, it's got a different, it hits different, right? So that was one of the best ways we did. So I took that as a learning lesson and we set up a framework where we took our best people and said, hey, what are the KPIs our best people? What does excellence look like? Okay, you know, maybe it looks like four hours talk time in a day. Maybe it looks like a couple hundred dials in a day. Maybe it looks like eight conversations in a day. And then it reaches that. But what gets in the way of sales reps actually modeling excellence? Well, the, the answer to that that I found over years and years of managing salespeople is they do. They get into their own way.